I wanted it to the man. Thoughts come to me and fade away. Okay, so we got a different type of vehicle here today. It's a 1994 Chevy Suburban. This one's got the 350 under the hood. It's also got power steering and power brakes, AC, all the good stuff. Aftermarket set of American racing wheels, disc brakes. Uh, this thing's pretty clean all the way around. Nice paint job, pretty nice interior. And you don't see too many of them out on the road anymore in this condition. Look at the detailed pictures we got inside out and underneath. Just go to maplemotors.com. We have financing on stuff like this. And of course, this one's under 10 grand, so uh, y'all like that. All right, so guys, for now, let's go ahead and get this hood shut down and we'll hit the road. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Of course, before I take off in this one, we'll check out the interior a little bit, look around. It does have stereo connector there. They took the radio out, whoever owned it before. They've got the carpet here, so dash is cracked up. This is the first time that I've been in this vehicle too, so it got pulled out here this morning. And this is what I do. I do these reviews with you, looking over everything. Is this locked? Does it unlock? What's going on? Let's see. No, it's just a little stiff there. I couldn't get in it. Still can't get in that console. You got a crack right there. And if I do get in the console, I'll let you know. Armrest, it's not wore out. Neither is this side. A little wear there on the seat. Of course, we'll be going over that towards the end of the video and picking out the flaws segment. For now, we're just glancing around. Look how big this vehicle is. It's got a few spots in the headliner there. I don't know what they were trying to hook up. Maybe a TV. I believe that's what it was. One, two, three, four. Yeah, and the wires for it. Rear controls there look like they're missing some knobs. Let's go ahead and start this one up. This one does have 300,000 miles on the dash. 309.28. Looking around, it looks like it's got great oil pressure. The engine temperature is still cold too. Old tack is coming up and working. Does the AC work? I don't know. Turn it off. Turn it back on. I don't see it really affecting the RPMs on there, but it is decently cold outside and that's cold air coming out, so. Lower motor's working. Horn, do you think the horn works on this one? A little different, wipers do. Turn signal does on both sides. Let's see if I can get it where you can see it. Horn! What? Is it hooked up? Didn't look like the little connector's hooked up there, so let's see if we can manually do it. <laughs> it does work, it's just not hooked up right. But yeah, there you go. So that needs to be hooked into the back there. It just needs a new clip piece. Good deal, guys. Let's go ahead and hit the road and we'll see how she runs and drives. Okay, got my seat belt on here. Like I said, it's a little different because this is not a muscle car, but it is a 94 model Suburban. So it is an older vehicle and that's usually what I video. Okay, here we go. She's pulling good, going down the road here. Let's get around this guy. Looks like the speedometer's coming up. Seems to be working pretty accurate. We're running about uh, 45 mile an hour right now. Down's hooked up. Good shift there. Getting into those brakes. 
brakes feel fine. They don't feel bad at all. Engine temperature's up on the dash now. Steering's tight. Pretty straight going down the road there. It's not really pulling left or right. We're gonna pull into the parking lot over here. I wanna get some undercarriage shots and uh, I'll probably drive by the camera. And of course I'm gonna do picking out the flaws. So I wanna walk around and look at the lower portion of this vehicle. Also check out all the details on the interior. We'll see what works and what doesn't. That way you know what you get. There's some, they're, these are pretty small speed bumps. Somebody said something the other day because I was hitting them at like 10 or 15 mile an hour. But they're very small. This is 10. And it's just barely, barely making a difference going over it. It's not bad. It actually feels pretty smooth. This is 10 again. It's just not bad. A little hesitation when I get into the throttle like that. It takes a second for it to kick in. Okay, like I said, we've made it to the parking lot. Let's go ahead and get these outside shots and I'll be right back. Be sure to look below in the description if you need any more information about us or this vehicle. Okay, try that window out, the rear window. It's going up and down. I think that one is too. This one here is purple. All the tents a little different on this one. That back window there is going up and down as well. Okay, so we do got a service engine light that popped on. I'm not 100% sure why. The engine temperature, it may be the engine temperature. It looks like it's sitting at about 220, which is a little high, and that is the highest that I've seen it. I'll be keeping my eye on that. It's not in the red zone or anything like that, but if it ever gets near 230, 240, it will need to be shut off. All right, and the light just cut off. I think that's what that is. I think we got to move it and it got a little airflow in there and stopped it. Um, I might check the antifreeze in this one when we get back, make sure it's full. I haven't noticed any idle being rough or anything like that. 
It's actually been pretty smooth the whole test drive, but I'll keep my eye on that. Coming out here. That is a hole in the back they had for the back window. Got to run over here across the street. Yeah, check gauges pop back on. So yeah, check engine line and then check gauges. And that engine temperature is just kind of sitting right there. It's coming back down now. But it's just sitting on 220, so. Like I said, we'll keep an eye on it. It's actually dropping now. So that may be a thermostat. I should have wedged that pole up between the seat. Instead, I threw it in the back flat, so it's like rolling back and forth. Yeah, so what it's doing, I see that engine tip, it'll come up and then it'll just start dropping. I almost wonder if that is thermostat getting stuck there. Not opening it up enough. Is it, yeah, it's dropping pretty dramatically now. That's all the way back down to 210. Well, I gotta stop across the street here and pick up a, uh, a wheel that I had fixed. And then of course we're gonna skip over to picking out the flaws. That's where I go over all the details on this ride, such as chips and scratches. And I've already done that. I did that in the parking lot before. This thing's got a new paint job on it from what I could tell. And somebody's done a lot of the new chrome and trim. But I do appreciate you watching, and of course, I'll keep watching everything else. Anything I see, you will know about it. That's why I'm doing these videos for you, guys. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, let's walk around this ride here. We'll be checking the uh the lower panels, the interior, all the chrome, but it looks like somebody's already redone all of it. This thing is in good shape, so anything I find, you'll know about it. See, if you look around the front end, it's pretty clean. I mean, that front bumper, little bug there I wiped off. You got a light scratch right here. There's a light chip there. The grill, I mean, that's new. Same with the headlights. Coming around the side, up and over the fender. It's clean, down your steps. Got a few little chips there by the rubber. But... One right there. Oh, that may be some dirt, hold up. Yep. Got some dirt down on the bottom, little chips on the jam on the door there. You got some little spots back there on the bumper. Tail lights are new. You got mirror tint on the back windows. Yeah, somebody definitely repainted this. It's nice and clean. Little spot there on the door. Little scuff there. Front windshield. It's got some little air pockets there on the side. But it's nice and clean. I mean, I don't see any scratches or chips. 
wax left over. Those guards look fairly new. They don't look bad at all. Little chip there. Looking over the roof here. Of course, the tailgate opens. Uh, the shocks there are, don't have enough pressure to hold this up, so there was this bar laying in the back here. As you can see, the carpet on the back hasn't been changed out. It is older carpet, which I'm surprised they didn't just re-dye it. They may have been thinking about redoing it if, since they've already painted it and put all the new stuff on the outside. The seal looks okay. That little piece is broke there, so defrost isn't going to work until that's reconnected little spots here on the carpet in the back that lifts up pretty easy coming down and it locks Specs back here. They look like they're wiping off. A little rust on the chrome there for your license plate light. A little spot there in the rubber on the back and the sides. Looking around on the tailgate, it's in good shape. The back window looks good. That piece there's got some scratches on it. Coming down this side, a little wavy in the corner there. Looking over is a crack, a little chip, chip, a scratch there, light crack there. Same with the inside there. If you notice, I'm just zooming in on a, a lot of this stuff. I don't have to say it every time, especially when I blow the screen up with it. I had some people comment the other day. They were like, you didn't mention the spot on the top. I'm like, I zoomed in on it and you saw it. That's why I make the videos. I fill the screen up with these flaws. I don't have to point out every single one when I'm zooming in on them. But this truck's actually pretty clean, so. few little chips there below that rubber seal this one's sticking up a little bit backside they probably took all that trim off or got new trim because that looks fairly new when they painted it little flakes there in the back so this window is not mirror but the other side is this one's mirror I assume they replaced that back one there. A little spot here. That looks like overspray. I'd probably wipe off. Little air pockets around that windshield, which is probably new because that's in really good shape. Little spots up here. It's like a dent right here. I can't see in the middle without stepping up on these rails and as clean as they are. I'm sure they support my weight, but I'm not gonna jump up there. The engine bay's nice and clean too. Let's check out the interior. The door panel, I mean, that looks pretty good. So it looks like they're working around the vehicle except for right here. 
on the driver's door. Light scratches up top. You can see they had to jimmy in. Somebody locked the keys in this one before. It's the only thing about this spot. It's the first time, but there's a train. Woo! Seal looks pretty good. Yeah, you can see where they got in. Jimmy the lock to try to get in here. Carpet's older. It'd be better. The seat, you know, it actually looks pretty good. A little wear on the bottom here. Got a few little spots. Looks like cigarette burn there. Headrest a little dirty up top. Panel there's broke on the back here. The old tent needs to come off. You can see the light haze on it. Maybe they was painting something. A little paint left there. Seats okay. Can be cleaned up. Steam cleaner. A little spot there. Get some extra trim pieces. Like some wiring for some stereo system. Tray's dirty back here. That back window there, the tent is just gone. It's old. That side looks pretty good. And that one looks okay. Might just take it all out, do it all new. Missing your little knobs for the rear controls. And those wires are for the rear TV. Looks like some tape on the panel over here. A little spot there. A little paint in the corner. The seat's got a little wear there. On the side, looks like some uh, cigarette burns. Good old pressure. Visor's got some weak spots on them. stereo back in it. Insulation's not too bad. A little bit of chips and surface rust popping up from where the paint's exposed or the metal's exposed where the paint is missing. Coming down with this hood. Guys, thank you for watching. Look at those detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. I'm gonna go back. We got some new cars for next week. I need to go ahead and get started on. So I'm gonna do that right now. But we're gonna head back to the lot. And uh, don't forget to hit subscribe, share this video, and go to maplemotors.com to see all the new inventory that we post every Monday. Again, financing and shipping is available. And I don't usually do Suburbans, but uh, it is an older vehicle and we get stuff like this in. So hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks guys.